Hello all, I'd like to show you how to replace the memory, the flash memory of an ESP32 C3 Room 02 module, or actually any other um, Espressive module. So to do this, you need the module and you need replacement flash. Uh, what I have here is 16 megabytes of flash to replace the four megabytes that comes standard with the ESP32 C3 Room 02. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to use hot air in order to remove the shield and then hot air in order to uh, remove the flash and then we'll solder the new flash in place. Because we're using hot air, uh, we need to use some Kapton in order to tie down the actual module because the hot air will not only heat up the shield, it'll also heat up the components under it. So if after that the module moves, then all the components will be scrambled and the module is no good. So I tie it down on three sides with some captain tape. And I'd also like to add some flux to the edges uh, just to make sure that the solder really melts. I'm not sure if this is actually necessary. I'd like to do it, but you probably can also go without if you don't want to. So at this point, I'll turn on my hot air rework station. I have the temperature set to 390 degrees and the airspeed set somewhere in the middle. Uh, this is not very critical and kind of depends on the actual hot air soldering station, so uh, your mileage may vary there. With the hot air rework station heated up, we'll just put some heat over the shield. Um, we'll hold that there until the solder actually melts. As you can see, I move the hot air around the edges because that's where the solder is. And as soon as I get the idea that the solder might be melted, what I do is I take a pair of tweezers and I stick one tip of the tweezers into the little air hole that is in the shield. That way I can pick it up. It is pretty important to pick the shield straight up and not um, slide it over the PCB because if you slide it over the PCB, again, you'll scramble all the components under it and you'll have to put them in place again. Sorry for the shadows here. And the solder is almost melted. And there it goes. I actually messed up a little bit, but the components are all still in place. So while everything is hot, I might as well get the flash off of the chip. So again, I just pick it up with the tweezers and that's it. Now I could also use some hot air in order to put a new flash chip on, but I'm going to go the traditional route here. So I'm going to put some flux on the pads and then I'm going to use some solder wick in order to get rid of the old solder. Both left and right. Then we'll take the chip and put it in place, making sure that Pin number one is in its right position. Come on. Again, apply some flux. I'm trying to tack pin one in place here, but there's actually a little bit too little solder left. So we just got to take the big roll of solder and apply some ourselves. So I'm tacking pin one in place here. And with that done, I can solder all the other pins.
And after that's done, we're more or less ready. Um, in theory, you could put the shield back on. Uh, easiest way would be to hot air it on again, but I'm not gonna bother here. The module works perfectly fine without as well. And that's how you replace the flash on an ESP module.